Hey Internet, just some retro gamer here. Do you wish that there was a way to copy your memory cards while you're, I don't know, at school, at the office, or out on a boat, on the moon? Apparently somebody did. And that's where this little device comes in. The Innovation X-Drive. Toted as a portable PlayStation memory card copy machine. Yeah, somebody out there thought the built-in memory card manager on the PlayStation just wasn't enough. So, it looks like Innovation stepped up to the plate and built this little device. I don't know much about it because I couldn't find any information about it on the internet. So pretty much everything that I'm going to show you today is what I learned just by messing around with it. Let's take a closer look, huh? All right, ladies and gents, let's go ahead and take a look at the X-Drive itself here, or the X-Drive box, rather. It is the X-Drive by Innovation. PlayStation compatible, I would hope so. It's kind of what it's built for. Dex Drive compatible and Pocket Station compatible. It's pretty neat. X-Drive, the portable memory card and copy machine. And it's just a shame that there's legitimately no other way to copy files from memory cards, right? Man, if only the PlayStation had some sort of built-in method to do this. Oh wait, there it is. Yeah. All right, uh, what we got else here? We got um, just more stuff at the top here. PlayStation compatible, Dex Drive compatible. Really want to make push that whole uh, Dex Drive compatibility option there. And here we have our wall of text. Let's see if there's anything interesting back here. Never buy another memory card again. Upload unlimited saves from thousands of games and store them on your PC using any PSX memory card. Now, that was kind of a big deal back in the day, because you only had 15 blocks on each of your memory cards, so... That seems like a pretty neat feature. Upload or download two cards at one time. Only X-Drive has two memory card slots. Neat. Download and upload your favorite Pocket Station games through the internet. Now, that's kind of a neat feature. Well, that's about it. Alright, let's open it up and see what the old X-Drive comes with. Now, I've already opened this up, but I did get this sealed, so... Ooh, our first item here is the standardized parallel cable. Yeah. Nothing too fancy there. What I assume to be the driver floppy disk. Hopefully, the data on here is still good. Alright, we've got our copy machine itself. It's, uh, we got Master 1, Card 2. Got our PlayStation controller ports, memory card slots. We've got our erase button. Mm, I don't like that. I hope. I wonder if it has some kind of confirmation because I can see bumping this accidentally. It's really close, right next to the copy button. Like, hmm, I'm gonna copy your uh, memory card over. Oops, I erased your memory card. Uh, anyway, uh, we got our power power jack in the back, parallel port, power switch, and. Uh, a uh, secret little door to hide your unmentionables. Well, looks like it's just a battery compartment. So, yep, yeah, you got your little battery compartment in there. It's kind of neat. We will be testing this with uh, a power cord because I already tested it with a power cord to make sure it powered up, and it worked perfectly fine on a 7.5 uh, volt 1 amp power cord. So, we'll be using that for our testing today. And of course, the all important X driver user menu. You know, in case you want to order out while you're using this. Introduction X drive is the world's portable memory card copy machine. You can eraser or copy memory cards of any size from 1 meg to 72 meg. Compressed or non compressed in less than 20 seconds without a PC. Well, I can tell you that English was probably not the first language. All right, pretty standard. How to copy to your computer, how to copy uh, from your computer to it. And at the bottom we've got all samples above are with the memory card in master slot and show on the left hand side. X drive can support a memory card in any slot and can show you left and right side by using the arrow keys to move the function bar. And fancy. If you are having problems with X drive, you can email our technical support department. Email, email address here, 
and we will respond within 48 hours. Do not call. Well, chances are these are probably being made in someone's basement, so we probably wouldn't want to wake their parents up. I guess that makes sense. Plus, they didn't actually give us a phone number, so I guess we'll have to um, continue not calling them. But there's the uh, email address there if you want to email them for any problems you might be having. Lovely. Let's go ahead and plug this unit in and see what it does. And simple enough. And drop that down to the Windows 98 computer I have hiding under my desk because, you know, who doesn't have one of those under their desk? Probably normal people. All right, ladies and gents, we've got our Windows 98 machine powered up and we've got our device powered up, or we will in just a moment. Beautiful. So I've already copied the file that was on the floppy disk to the desktop, so I know the floppy works, but we'll go ahead and we'll head there anyway. And we've got our floppy. Ah, good old reliable floppy disks. Can definitely see that there's data on it, but it can't read it. I am so glad I was able to copy this file off before this happened because I tried this with another floppy drive and getting the same result. So it looks like the disk I had was only good for one read. Wonderful. If you happen to have one of these and are looking for the software for it, check the description down below. I have a link posted where you can download the files that were on the floppy disk, or rather file. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to that file, which is this pdl.exe, and it'll bring up the interface for the device. Currently, we don't have a memory card in it, so let me go ahead and remedy that. Okay, we now have a memory card in the unit. And let's go ahead and go to card. And it should be in the master. And there you have it. It lists all the files currently on that card. Not too shabby. Now, if you wanted to, for example, back these files up onto your computer, you then move over to the other column. And we're going to go ahead and create a new virtual memory card. So we'll go to file, new file. And we're going to call it um, memory card one. And there you have it. We now have a 15 block virtual memory card. So let's go ahead and start copying things over. You'll see a menu that's currently at the bottom of the screen. You have the option to delete files, copy, uh, F10 brings you to the menu at the top, and escape is the quit. Very simple. Simply choose the files you wish to copy by highlighting it and hitting the enter key and then press the corresponding button at the bottom if you want to delete, copy, and so on. So we're going to copy over, uh, we'll do everything here. And my wife will be pretty happy because this is her memory card. And we'll push the F9 to copy. It's a relatively fast process actually. No complaints here. Alrighty, I went ahead and got some saves from the internet here, so let's go ahead and try to copy them over to a physical memory card. Now, it's my understanding that these saves are Dex Drive saves, so we're going to test that Dex Drive compatibility. Right, first, we'll open the pdl.exe. As you see, I have a blank memory card in there. So, we'll go to File, go to Open File, and let's see here, we got Saves where I downloaded them. We got Final Fantasy Tactics, Metal Gear, and we got Monster Rancher. So we're going to go to we'll do Metal Gear first here, and there it is. We've got our Metal Gear saved memory card. Now all we have to do is highlight the ones we want to transfer back over, and we hit the F9 key. And there you have it. We now have copied over a save that I downloaded off the internet onto a memory card. That's not too shabby. All right, let's boot up the PlayStation and see if we have a save here. All right, we'll go to memory card. And look, there's our saves that we transferred over from the computer. All right, let's load up the saves. 
All right, we'll head down to continue. Memory card slot one. And there we are. We have the downloaded save I got from GameFAX. Level 99. He is a Loon Knight. Let's take a look at the file itself. Make sure it loads up and there's no issues. Huh. So yeah, it looks like you can do some free, uh, some freaky stuff with the uh, saves once you download them to your computer. And that's not too shabby. Well, it sure looks like that this save file uh, works as intended. So, let's move on to Metal Gear and see how the save file I downloaded there fares. Metal Gear. Colonel, I seem to have three save files. I have disc one in currently, so let's go to the underground passage. So it looks like our downloaded save was again 100% successful. Not too shabby at all. Do you want to die now? Or after your female? No, not really. Which will it be? I guess later. I'll die after I kill you. Alrighty, for this next test, we're gonna go ahead and see how the buttons on the device work. So we'll go ahead and put in our first memory card. And our second memory card. Beautiful. Let's see what happens when we hit the copy button. All right, I assume they're duplicating. Yeah, looks like it's done. We'll go back to the PDL program and we're gonna see if, uh, see if the cards are indeed copied. Okay, there's card one. Now we should have the a duplicate card now in card uh, slot two. And look at that, we certainly do. Hey, that's not too shabby. Definitely does what it's supposed to. We're gonna go ahead and hit the erase button and see what happens. Oh, that was fast. Did it really erase? I don't know. Let me load up the PDL program again and we'll find out. It sure did. All right, now it's time to try out the pocket station. Let's go ahead and try to copy some files over to it. It did say it was compatible, so. Okay, unit fits right in, no problem there. Open up the PDL program, and there we have it. We do have some files already on here. All right, now that we've blanked out the card, we're gonna go ahead and load some files on back onto it. So we'll go to the SPS, Sony Pocket Station folder. All right, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna add Rockman here. Okay, as you can see, the games do take up several files, or I'm sorry, several blocks on the memory card. So we highlight the first one, which will highlight all the blocks. Press F9, and we're copying it back to the pocket station. Alrighty, it looks like it copied over okay. We have 13 blocks in use at the bottom of the screen. And let's go ahead and take a look at that. And there's our save file, Rockman 2. That's kind of neat. Don't know, I assume that's what it says anyway. But can we actually play the game that I actually downloaded to it? Well, let's find out. Let's put the sound on first. And there it is, Rockman 2. I have no idea how any of this works, but what's important is, well, that's pretty neat. A little, this little thing puts out some nice sound. Rockman. Oh, that's kind of neat. Well, it worked. I was able to use this device to put a game back actually onto the pocket station. This will be a review for another day, but but yeah, I'd say that was a complete success. 
If you're the kind of person that needs to quickly copy memory cards on the go, I can't imagine there being a large market for that, but I mean, if there is, this is the device you're gonna want. I personally enjoy the fact that I'm able to back my saves directly up to the PC, a lot like a Dex drive, but I really like the interface. Personally, it's very retro and very much me. The fact that it's also compatible with the Dex drive is definitely a good feature for it since most of the saves you're gonna find on the internet are definitely Dex drive compatible. The fact that it actually works with the Sony Pocket Station is definitely an added bonus. Now, I could not get this to run on any of my newer computers. It wouldn't run for me on Vista, it wouldn't work on 7, it wouldn't work on Windows 10. However, it did work perfectly fine with no modifications or anything like that on my Windows 98 machine, so it probably is designed more for those older systems. This is a great little device if you're like me and just happen to have a Windows 98 PC just sitting under your desk. This product gets my retro rating of 7.5 out of 10. It's perfectly functional and does exactly what it needs to do. Some of those added features like the erase and copy on the go, not ultimately useful to me, but maybe someone out there has a use for it. And if you're thinking, hey, this should work on an 8 meg memory card because, you know, it set it in there, works between the 1 and 72 meg, and, well, the PlayStation 2 memory cards are 8 megabyte. It doesn't. It actually doesn't even physically fit. As for how much this is currently going on eBay, I have no idea. I couldn't find any of these currently being sold or recently sold on eBay. I do know that I got mine for $5 at a local video game store here in town. But they've since closed down and this was the only one they had, so I'd say it's a pretty lucky find. No complaints here. And that's all I have for today's Retro Tech Showcase. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, you know, all that jazz. Special shout out, as always, goes to my Retreon crew. You guys are amazing. I sincerely appreciate your support, guys. You rock. Thank you. I'm just some retro gamer. Keep on gaming. Till next time.